Um, hello YouTube, um, today I'm making a tutorial on how to make a custom Xbox 360 dashboard background using, uh, GIMP or GIMP. So the first thing you want to do is you want to, uh, go and download this picture of the kind of template, and I'll post that in the description. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a rectangle select tool, and then just press delete, oops, and fill that in. Okay. Do the same exact thing with this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your color select tool. So now you have an orange color rectangle over here. And right click. Edit. Fill with for foreground color. Okay. And sorry about my... Uh, my voice right now, I'm actually sick, so. I'm congested and everything. Alright. So what you're going to do is go to File, Select, None. And now you have your uh, two, two sides to this. So what you want to do, make a new layer. Take a free select tool. And... Make the free select along this line. And then go down. Down and connect it. Alright, so now go to layer. Crop to selection. Now you have... Uh, now you have this kind of effect. So, there's still kind of white here. So what we're going to do is... Take your paintbrush, select a circle brush, and just color that all in. Alright, so now you have this and this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. I'm going to do the same exact thing we just did, except this time we're going to um, free select the white part. So, do the same exact thing. Cut along the orange. So, select along the white. A good square. Then go to layer, crop to selection again. Select none. Take your paintbrush. And make that white. Okay. And I messed up a little bit here. So I'm going to just take my rectangle tool, edit, fill with foreground color. Alright. So now you have two sides, white and orange. Um, so now, what you want to do is you're going to hide your orange layer. So now only ha you only have your white. And this is going to be the background part of the Xbox 360 uh, dashboard. And the orange part is going to be like the bottom. So it's not really going to be orange. So take your uh, bucket fill tool and um, fill it with whatever color you want. So I'll just pick black. And then you can do pretty much anything. Just design your own. Um, there's really cool things you could do. You can go to Filters Render, uh, Fractal Ex Explorer, excuse me. It'll bring up this little box, and you can make your own little cool pattern thing. Like this. <coughs> See? You just kind of stretch it out. When you're doing that, make sure you ch check that one. 
Hornsley three, and then make your own cool little design thing. Stretch it out a little more. All right, and then just press enter. All right, so what it'll do is you'll have your design here. You can pick it up, move it. Alright, so you have your, you have your design here, and then let me scale this a little bit. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, I don't know where my layer tool just went, but I'm just going to take some text. See what I have. Um, I'll just use this text color will be gold Okay, so this is it. You can really whatever you want and make whatever kind of design. Um, when you're done, when you have your entire design, you just kind of click on the eye to show the orange. And then you go to File, Save, Save as a JPEG file. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take a, uh, a USB and you're going to put it into your computer. And you're going to open up that USB in the computer. And then you're going to go to your file. And just go to... Um, this just go to your documents you can also go through here to the documents you go here you go to pictures find the picture you just made uh, right click copy the image and then open up your USB paste the image and then take the USB out of your computer put in your Xbox and then you're gonna go to your pictures on your Xbox 360 go to and then just set it as your uh, background and that's pretty much it so rate comment subscribe